Hello, Cancer. So this is a reading that I got for you guys for March, okay? So I got the Judgment card as a general energy. You got the Seven of Wands with the Eight of Cups in the verse, the Seven of Pentacles in the verse, the King of Wands, and the Knights of Pentacles. So before clarification, what I'm seeing is that someone is definitely trying to fight for your love with the Seven of Wands being there. This is someone who probably left you and they would not want to return. They want a second chance with you, okay? But I feel like you... I don't know. I feel like you don't see that you can deal with them again, okay? With the King of Wands and Knight of Wands facing opposite direction, okay? I feel like this person stuck on the past, okay? They stuck on you. But I feel like you are slowly trying to progress. You're slowly trying to start something new, okay? Something starting over again, okay? But I feel like this person still want a second chance with you, okay? Um... But I feel like you have given up completely on them, okay, with that Seven of Pentacles in the verse, okay? But I'm seeing they haven't given up on you. Um, the signs that you might be dealing with might be a Scorpio, a Taurus, very Capricorn, um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Now, for the Romance Angels, I got Express Your Love, Deception, Give Your Relationship a Chance, and Calling in Your Soulmate, okay? So a lot of you guys... Hmm, I feel like there's going to be two cancers, probably three cancers, okay? So the first cancers, I'm seeing that you guys feel like this person's up to no good. You feel like this person's deceiving you, even if they come back in March. The second cancers, I feel like you guys are kind of deceiving yourself. It's like you guys do want to move on, but you know deep down that you still love this person or you still have feelings for this person. And I feel like the third, um, the third part of cancers are basically... You guys are going to be in a connection that you got to be careful, okay? This person is deceiving you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Um, now, give your relationship a chance and calling your soulmate. Now, <laughs> it's like some cancer is going to try to see how far this can go, and the other cancer is gonna, are trying to see if there's someone better for them, okay? Now, when I clarify, express your love, I got the Seven of Cups, okay? So... Mm, yeah, I feel like March is going to be an overwhelming month for you, but not in a bad sense. It's just like you, like, I feel like the ball is in your court, okay? And I do feel like a lot of you guys do have options, but you don't know which person that you should share your love with, okay? And when I clarify deception, I got the sun in reverse, I have the nine of wands in reverse, and the tower in reverse. So whoever deceiving, okay? If you're deceiving yourself, I feel like the other person's going to find out. If you... Feel like someone deceiving you the truth is going to come out in the in month of march okay that's what i'm seeing um now when i clarify give your relationship a chance i have the ten of wands and the nine of cups in the verse so yeah a lot of you guys might just not give this person a chance okay you might continue to move forward even though it it does hurt you to move forward okay but you're just not happy in the connection anymore with the nine of cups in the verse and when i clarify calling in your soulmate i got the queen of swords in the verse and a high priest is in the verse, okay? So you might feel like um, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini is your soulmate as well, okay? Now, another way this can go is that I feel like a lot of you guys have mixed emotions, mixed energy. It's because you guys are not really listening to your intuition. You're kind of confused of what's your ego and what's your intuition, what's your spirit, and what's just the ego, basically. Um, because with the high priest is in the verse, it's like either you're not listening to your intuition or... Um, your intuition is not clear. So it's giving you mixed signals, mixed emotions, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys may feel like this someone is your soulmate, but in reality, that person isn't, okay? With the high priestess being reversed, okay? Now, when I clarify the seven of wands, I got the nine of swords in the verse and the page of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this person definitely want to fight for your love, okay? They're done thinking about you, like, just thinking about you, not putting no actions. I feel like in the month of March, you're going to hear from them. They're definitely going to try to apologize. They're definitely going to try to make you feel that they're sorry, okay, with the Nine of Swords in the verse and the Page of Pentacles. Now, when I clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse, I got the Strength in reverse and I got the Four of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, this person was trying to have, like, a front or something, where they try to pretend like everything was good, okay, without you. But it's like they really, really 
can't they can't front this anymore. Like they, I feel like they're definitely gonna return to you. Yeah, they're definitely gonna return because we got the four swords in reverse. The four swords represent taking a break, right? When they come out in reverse, someone is resurfacing, and then that eight of cups in reverse. This person's resurfacing; they can't control their ego anymore. Okay, with the strength card being reversed, they can't control it, and they're definitely um, trying to return to you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing because they see like you are the one that they're supposed to be with. You are the one that they should commit to with the strength card being there. Okay, now the this person could be. I'm seeing basically four elements. I mean, two elements, actually, in Leo. So this person could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Leo, okay? Now, when I clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse, I got the five of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just holding on. I'm not holding on, but basically holding to yourself, okay? Um, not, not saying a yes, not saying a no, because you don't want conflict, you don't want drama anymore, Okay, and a lot of you guys just don't want to overexert your energy anymore. Okay, now I got the King of Wands. Now I'm gonna cut for the King of Wands. I got the Two of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I mean upright, and the Three of Swords in reverse. So yeah, a lot of you guys might just leave this person out in the cold. You don't want to bother with them anymore. You don't want to connect with them anymore. You don't want to work on this connection anymore. You made that final decision, and you're gonna leave them out in the cold, and you rather focus on yourself. You rather heal yourself. Okay. Okay, and I feel like there's going to be another person that's going to um, connect with you who might be a new fire sign of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when I clarify the Knight of Pentacles, I have the Two of Pentacles, I got the Queen of Cups in reverse, I got the Eight of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands in reverse, the, the Will of Fortune, a lot of cards. The Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Okay, let me break it down for you guys. Um, so, you guys are slowly moving forward, right? You guys, I feel like some of you guys may feel like, oh, did I make the right choice to move on or did I not? But either way, I'm, I'm feeling like you guys are slowly trying to move forward, okay? Um, you guys probably gonna block communication, or will, or you you already block communication with this person. You you no longer attach to this person with the Queen of Cups in reverse, especially if you're dealing with the Earth sign towards where Capricorn, okay. And you're trying to seek happiness elsewhere, okay. Or you might just be hanging out with family a lot, or friends a lot, or with your children. Um, but you are trying to get off this connection, okay, with the Four of Wands in reverse. You want something to change. You want to switch, change partners, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune being there. And the Six of Swords, but with the Six of Cups being there, I feel like this person is still going to be around. They're still going to try to fight for your love, okay? But I got three ones, so I feel like you guys are waiting for this person too. It's weird. So I feel like you are having a front as well. I feel like even though you guys are moving forward, I feel like you kind of still want to be with this person. But it's like you're waiting, but I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know if you're waiting for this person to just completely... To completely change or to completely give you what you want, even though you're moving forward, it's like a weird. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be in some mixed type of energy in March, not indecision, but I'm seeing mixed energy where you're moving forward, but at the same time you're waiting for the past. Okay, waiting for the past to return. Okay, probably some of you guys are waiting for the past to return, um, just to be petty, so you can move. It's just to say like, oh, I don't want you no more. I move on, something like that, or. Basically, it's like you're waiting for them, but you want to move on. It's like a weird thing. Um, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like mixed type of energy. Okay, mixed type of energy. Now, when I come for the judgment, I got the King of Swords in reverse and Three Cups. Yeah, so this person wants a second chance with you. I feel like they're not really with the bullshit anymore. They're not with the foolery anymore. They want something genuine with you. They want something real. I feel like before, they was bullshitting. Majorly, okay? Um, they was bullshitting. But I feel like they really came to their senses and they realized, okay, I want to be with this person. Yeah, so I'm seeing this person definitely want a second chance with you. But you're kind of like 
trying to move on. But at the same time, you're kind of waiting for them at the same time, too. Some of you guys want to just be petty with them. <laughs> but some of you guys really want to move on. But it's like you still have feelings for this person as well, okay? But that's the reading that I got for you, Cancers. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal, personal reading with me, you can at queenfreetotarot at gmail.com.